Take one part fresh fish, add personality, live music, and an authentic harbor for ambiance. And you've got Phil's Fish Market in Moss Landing. The signature dish is chipino. And people, I was doing demonstration cooking, how it worked. And uh, I do it with a wok. Well, when I got through, they wanted what was inside the wok. So I didn't have any way to transport, so I told them, if you want it, what I'm cooking here, after the demonstration, I'll just dump the wok into your pot, bring a pot. And that's how it got started. Phil Airplane. knows fish. We're very fortunate in the way I did a lot of brokering in my time, too, is uh -huh. where we can get fish from all different areas. Such as these are Thai snapper, which are reef fish, and they're coming in from Hawaii. Uh, this is local. Right. Uh, a local fish, what they call um, red widows. This is our local king which is just marvelous. Wow, beautiful. Yeah. Phil DiGirolamo has spent years on boats, on the docks, and in the kitchen, perfecting the gathering of fish and flavors and family recipes that come together at his fish market and restaurant. The prep line is open so they have total communication with the fellows out here that are cooking, and they can pass each other. Also, with, with the double pass windows, it makes a cool kitchen. And here we're making salmon locks. I don't know if you can ah, get... Ah, the smoker. Yeah, it's a nice smoker. We do our own locks, our own smoking. Local crab, you saw them cooked. And these are over here, wow. they're ready to be cooked. I'd say there's about 1,200 pounds of crab between both tanks. Oh. All our fish that we fry and everything, we process ourselves, bread them ourselves. Watch this. Ah. Soft shell crabs come right in. These came in from, from, the, from Louisiana. Oh my God. Isn't that beautiful? They're like leaves. Yeah. Yeah. See them kind of moving, their, they move a little slow, they're a little cold. Yeah. They'll move fast in the fryer. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you need them? Yeah. Here they go. Here they go, off they go. You can literally hear the waves at some of Phil's tables. That's a short trip for most of these ingredients to make. It's a combo of, from artichokes, um, shrimp that you saw him breading in the back, fresh scallops, calamari caught right out in front over here. So it really makes it nice. Each pot is made individually. So we make a base, and then we heat the base, and each pot is made one at a time. As we sell it, we keep making chowder, we keep making the white chowder. We add, add all the, the ingredients to do it. So when it hits the line, it's fresh made. If you get it too hot, it breaks. If you don't get it hot enough, it won't congeal. Okay. So these, it's all the feel. I like the uh, chowder, the salads, uh, the calamari's good, the shrimp's good. What makes it fills? That it's fresh. And where are you from? New York. Yeah. So how'd you find this place? Through my friend here, who's been here many, many times. How did he, what did he tell you about the place? He says, we will take you back to 1935. In the days of Edward G. Robinson and John Garfield. And then it, it happened. The ambiance that you can dig right into the dungeon that's the way I'm doing right now. He has bibs and everything. Bibs and everything. You know, I put on the bib and the fish will roll over my pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here it is right there. Ready to go. Ready to go. You get a package of this, two crabs, you got a uh, crack crab chipino. Phil loves tradition, but by embracing the internet and overnight delivery, he's ready to send you a taste of Phil's, or Phil's fashions, wherever you are. People have come by here and have had crab, or they've had some fresh salmon, and they're somewhere Midwest, or they're having a special party or anniversary or something to that effect. We'll put in FedEx it right to their doorstep right there. You experienced. Yeah. It's, you just said it. It's more than lunch. Yeah. People come and they experience. They have fun. It's laid back. Yeah. No parking meters. Right. Exactly. And you can see, see the crabs? They're going right in the kitchen. There go. <laughs> He's still on the crabs. He's still on the crabs. <laughs>